Now, regardless of whether you're opting in the paid way of setting up your business or a completely free way of doing so, you still need the four components listed here. The business operations, ordering process, collecting payment, and fulfillment of your orders. Right now, we're in process number two, ordering process. So for you to actually have the view shop button, this is the lesson that you're going through. Lesson 2.2. And if you want to opt into the free, go back to lesson 2.1. In this specific lesson, we're going to cover how you're going to set up this view shop button. Now, to start off, what is an e-commerce website? It is basically a website, a platform that allows you to sell goods online and on, in, on the internet. These platforms allows you to accept payment online payment options such as credit card, PayPal, Apple Pay, and Google Pay. And this website allows you to actually act as your menu and as a storefront for your website. Some of the most popular e-commerce platforms include WordPress, BigCommerce, Magneto, Shopify, Wix, and Squarespace. For our liking, we are going to focus on Shopify. Now, why is it important for us to actually have this? Because the e-commerce platform allows your website to become a one-stop shop. Instead of having a storefront, like typically as a restaurant, you would have the storefront, this becomes your storefront. It allows you to actually show your customers what you're selling, your menu offering. It allows you to start taking in orders, it allows you to collect payment, and allows you to actually manage your inventory payment as well also allows your customers with a branded online experience. So when people are coming in through the doors, they feel like, wow, this is a professional environment, this is a professional uh, Instagram food business versus just sending people to a Google form. That's the reason why having this e-commerce website is super important. Now, do not worry, you don't need to be a programmer in order for you to do this. We, once again, we're focusing on Shopify and for the rest of the modules and the rest of the lessons moving forward, we're focusing on this specific platform because we just find it to work the best for our needs. It is super easy to create. Typically speaking, if you have some experience, it would take you three hours to set it up, five hours if you have just super average experience, and eight hours if you're a complete newbie. And once again, we're gonna be providing you the tips and videos in setting up your Shopify website in lesson number five. For the sake of this specific lesson, we're showing you the overall gist. There's no outcome that comes out of this lesson aside from you getting an idea of what you need in order for you to set up that shop button. So just go through this, sip on your water, and actually pay attention. No need to take too much notes. What do you need to set up your Instagram, sorry, your e-commerce website? First up, it is for you to set up your homepage. This is super basic to begin with. You don't need to spend too much time and effort into this because honestly, people don't really care for this specific purpose. Add your logo, add some images for your product, add in your story and your business details, okay? Because we wanna be able to connect this website into your Instagram shop. And what we really care about is your product page, okay? This is the page that is gonna be connected to your Instagram, and we're directing people that are browsing on Instagram to this specific page. They can now see the menu offering that you have and select a product to buy. Provide high quality photos of, of, uh, of your food and a brief description of each of your items. This becomes what people click into and what they see and how they can order. Now, what else do you need? After creating your website, you can actually put that URL into your Instagram profile, into your Instagram bio as well, so people can actually click into them and visit your website if they want to. But for the sake of what we're doing, we are actually gonna be linking it to the view shop. And once again, I'm gonna be showing you more as we go on to the different lessons moving forward, specifically lesson number five. But nonetheless, just know for a fact that when you create that website, you're gonna be able to link it for your shop right here and also put it in your bio. We're not gonna be doing the creation right now. If we're looking into, hey, you know what? I really wanna be able to set up my Instagram food business, the paid way, then jump into the lesson number five. That's where we're gonna be focusing on how are you gonna be able to set it up accordingly and how you can link everything up properly. Now, the pros and cons of setting up an e-commerce website. It allows you to be able to track your inventory. So then that way you know when you're gonna run out of 
different inventory, such as your chicken wings or like cookie batter or whatever the case that you're creating. It allows you to receive notification every time someone orders. So then that way you can stay motivated. So then that way you can actually be like, oh, you know what? I and I need to prepare more for the upcoming week allows to manage all your payment in one place as well. So then that way you don't need to go out and collect cash and allows you to look much, much more professional. On the con side of this versus a free uh, Instagram food business is that there is a monthly subscription fee for you to sign up with Shopify. Uh, additional transaction fee per order. The monthly subscription fee ranges from $20 to $30 per month. The additional transaction fee anywhere from like 50 cents to three percent if it's a if it's a credit card that you're accepting and it also takes a little bit longer initially to set up a website now a pro tip of this is that having an e-commerce platform actually allows you to efficiently manage your orders as you get higher and higher volume let's say if you're getting 50 orders a day then for sure you need to utilize shopify as your platform to help you with managing your orders now it is your turn Read the link below because this allows you to see which platform um, is the best to use in 2021. And on top of that, select the e-commerce platform that you use, you want to use to create your website, add that website into your Instagram bio. Our recommendation once again is Shopify because it's super easy to do. Jump into lesson five to see how we can actually create your Shopify page for your Instagram food business.